Hi everyone, today's video share is on the new We Are Memory Keepers Word Punch Board. I'm excited about this punch board. As you all know, I love all the punch boards. When they had featured this on their Instagram account, I couldn't wait for this to come out. I purchased mine through HSN and I'll put their link down below. So this is the packaging. This is the font that you get right here. I hope We Are Memory Keepers come out with different fonts as well as numbers would be really fun. Um, this is the actual size right here. And then you get 26 punches. So you get A through Z. And then here are some project shares that they created and that they featured on the back of their box um, using the word punch board. So you could see they created some banners for the planner. They also created tabs for each of the month. Here they added on a Polaroid film and then also on a tag and a card. So lots of fun ideas using this punch board. So here's the board right here. Now this is exactly like the planner punch board. So if you have the planner punch board, you'll notice here it's exactly the same size. Um, but keep in mind, some people probably don't have the planner punch board. So that's probably why they designed this to go with this, which makes sense. And here are the punches. So I created this customized little box here. If you want to create one of these, I'll put the measurements in the description box. So I just wanted to separate them. I mean, you can connect them together like this. You can link them together, but because I'm going to probably use this a lot, it's just easier for me to get it from this box here. And so I just used some lightweight chipboard. I covered it with some Prima design paper. And I love how they're just individually um, stored in here. Okay, so that's what I made there. So let me show you some of the projects that I created. The one I did share in my Instagram account was this one right here in my planner. You can customize your own notebooks, which is really nice. So here I spelled out plan it. So you can do that to your notebooks, and um, if you want to put your name or your kids' names or you know whatever you want to put on there, this punch board is really nice, and that's what I really like about it. So that's what I did to that project. Here, um, I just took one of my dies, one of my favorite box dies, and um, punched out the word sweet. So, you know, if you want to. Again, personalize the favor box. You can do that as well. So that's what I did there. Now I have a video on how to make this planner right here. And I'll put that link down below. But I thought it would be fun to personalize your own planner using the board. So here I have my daughter's name, Ashley. You can see there. So there's Ashley. So you can personalize her name on there. Um, here's one, but I backed it with some white cardstock so you could kind of see it a little better. And it says TPS Girl, because so I subscribe to the Planner Society monthly kit. So that's another way that you can do that. Also, if you have um, the Eileen Hull die, the, the, her new die, you can do that too on her die as well. Um, this is my favorite. Um, I thought I could personalize my envelopes for my girls. So it says, Love Moms. This is an A2 size card. Um, I created the envelope using the envelope punch board. And you can see it matches my card, just a simple card, and then the design paper on the front. So you can personalize that as well. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So those are just some projects that I created using this punch board. So let's get the envelope which I went ahead and punched out. Again this is using the envelope punch board. So here's the punch board here and again I use the A2 size so you're going to cut your paper at 8 and 1 8 by 8 and 1 8 and then you're going to punch it at 3 and 3 quarters. And the corner rounder that I used for this one, um, this I got from Hobby Lobby. This is also by We Are Memory Keepers. It's a three corner punch. So there is a four millimeter, a seven millimeter, and a 10 millimeter. This one right here is the 10 millimeter. So it's a really nice rounded corner. Here, I'll show you the other ones. Here, a piece of paper. 
So here's, let's see, let's punch the four. So you can see the four. So it's really small. And then here's the seven. So let's do the seven. So you get a different variety of corners, which is nice. And again, I got this at Hobby Lobby. Okay. So let's make this. So what you're going to do first is you're going to, again, create your envelope. And then you're going to fold in, you know, the flaps. Just um, put it together like you were going to create the envelope. And you're going to do a little trick here. So you're going to take a pencil. You're going to see where this flap is. You're going to mark right here. Just a little line. And then a little line right here. This is a guide to let you know that you have to punch within here. Because if you punch on this side, you're not going to see the letter. Because it's going to be covered. And then you're going to mark right here as well. Just another guide, because once you punch out those letters, you want to make sure that your paper doesn't go beyond that. Then it's going to obviously be sticking out of the envelope. Okay? So let's get our board here. So the A2 size card will fit perfectly four letters. So you can always go bigger on your envelopes and you can fit more. So I'm going to get the word love. So let's put the word love here. So L O. Oops. L O V and then E. Okay, well actually you know what? I'm gonna show you a little trick. I'm not gonna do it like this. I'm gonna put it in the middle and then I'll show you the reason why I do that. So let's get the side that we marked, okay? And what I'm going to do is, again, I can't go past this line, okay? So I just kind of use it. I put it in the middle because I want to, I guess, put it in the center. So I'm just going to just eyeball it. And you can also tell, too, because the end of this first one is going to be hitting this scored line right here. So that's kind of makes it in the middle. Okay, so then you got the word love. Now, I'm going to spell mom, and mom, because there's only one M, I'm going to show you how to use the other M. So we're going to put the M here. So where's my M? Okay, so we're going to make, again, make sure you're within that line. So I'm going to do this. Now you're going to have to, because I have to put the paper back in, you're going to make sure this end of this paper is at the 1. Okay, so once it's at the 1, it's still within the line. And then you can adjust it if you really want it in the center. I just want to make sure that I'm not past this line. Okay, so I've got that. All right, and then I'm going to put the M back, and you don't have to take it out. I take it out. It's totally up to you. You don't have to do that. So just go ahead and punch. Okay, so there you go. You got mom. Okay, so now what we're going to do is just erase these little marks here. Just take that out. And then I'm going to add the design paper. I want to make sure I'm within those lines that I marked. This one's very light. Hold on, let me mark it again. There we go. So I just cut a half an inch strip of paper. So this is half an inch by six. And I'm just going to see, let's eyeball it. Because I don't really need it to go all the way. So I'm just going to cut. And then let me just take some adhesive. Add it to the back here. Okay, so you can see. So you got it colored. And you don't have to use design paper. You can use a marker. You can use ink. You can use watercolor. Um, just make sure you just stay within this marked line. Okay? So let's do the other side. This can be a little smaller because it's just three letters. And then just add the tape. So I thought this was just a fun, you know, way to just customize your envelopes. Let's just do that. 
Okay, and then you've got mom right there. Okay, so let's just erase those extra marks there. And then all I'm going to do is just add my adhesive. I put a little in between the letters to do that. And it makes a really cute personalized envelope. And there you go. So that, that was fun. So again, this is the We Are Memory Keepers Word Punch Board. I'm really loving this punch board as I love all their punch boards. Um, so again, I'll put the link and all the information down below. Thanks for watching. Bye.